Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Secret World. Last time we did a few quests for the Orochi group, and followed Trail of Traps to Ellis Hill here in the, uh, on the airport. So let's talk to him, see what's going on. Runaway Lights. According to Ellis Hill, the generator at the airport has been acting up, and the reliability of the runway light suffers from it. The sea beasts get bolder in the dark, so it's in everyone's interest that the lights stay on. Tier 1. The generator supplies a network of wiring systems all over the airport. They might need maintenance. First check out the blueprints, then head to the runway passages to fix any potential problems. Who the hell goes there? Identify yourself! Goddamn. Thought you might be one of them. But better be more careful. Accidents can happen when you sneak up on a man. Put it there. Uh, I understand perfectly. A man's got to guard his handshake. It gives away a lot of a person's soul. I'm not talking about that palm reading shit. Shake a man's hand, you get a sense of his worth. His past and present. See the wear on these? Metal working hands. For fixing things up. Or breaking them. Real slow. No secrets. All in plain sight. More than you can say for this island. You got the back and the stomach for digging deep. All manner of shit comes out. But nothing I haven't seen the likes of in my line of work. You're thinking there's nothing dangerous about what I do. You'd be wrong. I can tell you all about what people try to hide behind a coat of white paint. Generator's been acting up, which is fine during the day, but at night, they get bolder when the lights are out, the sea beasts. And my aim gets worse. It makes it hard to tell friend from foe. I think it's in everybody's best interest if those runway lights stay on. Another interesting character there. All right, so let's uh, take a look at these blueprints. Alright, so we've got some sort of yellow box and yellow line to here, green box, red box, blue box, all of them going to this central location, so. Let's see if we can get to the wiring here in passage one. Nope, we need to go one more over. Alright. So, we need to take a look at that. But as you notice, the uh, water is electrified. So we need to not get in the water. Fix up the damaged wire in here. Which disables the uh, electricity in the water there. Alright. Number two. This one doesn't have much other than zombies in it. Or drog. And grab the attention of two of them, which I didn't want. wiring here. Onward to passage three. Uh, 
This one is difficult to do at higher graphical settings. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't consider this, but uh, if you look at it at a very sharp angle, you can actually see the path between. Uh, but if you've got the high reflectivity, which shouldn't be reflecting anything because the ceiling's there, uh, it's very hard to see from that angle. So what we're going to do, or the way to kind of work around this, is to go into your settings, go to your video options, advanced tab, and we're going to turn down the effects all the way to zero. And the reason we do that is that removes... Uh, that just makes the the green in the water a lot more visible. So now we can kind of... Uh, there we go. So now we can work our way over here and jump and around and deal with the wiring there. And the way to get back is going to take a little bit of damage, or at least I haven't figured out how to do it without taking a bit. Because you have to kind of make the dash right there to the. Uh, Oh, don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. At the very least, if you die, you spawn outside and you're near the entrance, so it's not that big of a deal. So while our arm grows back, I'm going to go back into the video settings and restore the graphic settings the way they were. Check the wire in here in passage four, which I believe is just this one yeah, with more zombies in the way. Still not stand in the way, chalk outlines. Great. Got our attention on other casters. Well, that certainly could have gone better. Let's see what we got here. We have a QL3 Waste Talisman. Yes, so we're gonna not wear that because we're wearing a tanking or a health health waste tal talisman. So, all right, let's see if we can activate this without attracting that drug there. There we go, and we go to the generator room. This is less obvious to get to, but we're gonna have to kind of go out the side here from this passage. Character menu. Alright. And we'll go take out this guy. Ooh, a new shot. 
shotgun. Is that everybody we got what we got? Uh, actually yes, it's got two more weapon power. So why not? I mean it's not gonna make a huge bit of a deal, but uh, Every little bit counts, right? So be careful out here because you'll see these are red with a special icon. These are lair mobs. You attract them, you will die. At least at this point. Uh, like I said before, uh, high level characters will be here because they will be wanting to kill these mobs to do the lair in the area. Now if you're wondering how I know this, that's this area on the map. So this this whole like scorched part of the map here denotes a lair. So we will duck out here. And hello. Oh crap. Not good. Not good. There we go. This beaten body because this guy respawned pretty quick. There's something about Ellis Hill. A dead maintenance worker near the generator room at the airport clutches an interesting piece of information about Ellis Hill. Information that questions the real identity of the man. The situation could warrant some investigation. Tier 1. The note in the dead man's hand reads, The guy who turned up today claiming to be Ellis Hill is not who he says he is. I served with the real Ellis Hill in Iraq, and this ain't him. What's he doing with Ellis's name tags and identification? Even social security number? I wonder what happened to the real Ellis Hill. out of here. I don't think there's any way out aside from the way we came in, so. Let's uh, quickly run back that way. Again, being very cautious of any mobs out here. we have the jumping skills. I'm gonna see if I can just outrun past these guys and lose them rather than getting into another fight. So here's the report for this. I would love to shine a giant floodlight in Kingsmith. However, until we get that tech, you'll just need to clarify things one fuse box and generator at a time. As for Ellis Hill, we ran a check and it seems he's new in town. He took the job at the airport a short time before the island started swallowing itself. I'm not saying not to trust him. I'm saying not to trust anyone. They sure as hell don't trust you. Ciao, ciao. We've got a QL3 finger talisman here. That? Okay, I guess he was still following me. Yeah, we're using a DPS talisman. I think so. That looks like the right ratio for DPS. Uh, not that one. Mm. So to 90. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, because it's. Go. Equip that. We're almost all QL3 now. So we're gonna go here. Use dirty shovel. He does an investigation mission. I will be saving that for a separate video. So following the dirt tracks here from the shovel lead to the car. Let's look at his GPS device. Route history, he went down the road, and he started in the forest here. Looks like this is north of the skate track. So 
so we will quickly run our way out there. I'll probably uh, cut out that running part so you guys don't have to watch. We'll see you when we get there. Alright, so we're approaching the uh, area here, north of the bike track. So let's start looking around for whatever he may have left. And that looks suspicious. Ellis Hill, mechanic. Well, that certainly isn't the uh, Ellis Hill we saw back there. So who's the new airport mechanic? The Templars don't really do role-playing. As for the dragon, it all seems too coherent for them. I'm more likely to pose as a ceiling fan. Smart money's on the Phoenicians. It would explain Signal's fake Ellis transmits out to sea and his familiarity with the drog. Carthage is always in it for the money. We could probably buy intel about the fog and other sea-related nightmares, but we'd rather you figure things out on your own. It saves us haggling over the price and removing the inevitable knife from your, in your back. So the Phoenicians, the fourth major faction in the secret world, uh, which is not a player faction, but you do encounter them a couple times during the course of the story. So since we're out here, and we're near Edgar's scrapyard. There is some things that we want to finish up here with Edgar. So let's see if we can do those real quick before uh, making our way back to Atlas for the uh, the investigation mission. So I'm going to skip the notebook for now because that's an escort mission which will lead us back to Atlas. What we want to do is talk to Edgar here. Full Metal Golem. Edgar needs parts to finish his bus. Problem is, the parts have walked out on him. Recover the missing parts so Edgar can finish the bus. Tier 1. Edgar is trying to repair his bus, believing it to be his ticket off the island. The problem is that all the parts are turning into scrap metal golems that walk out on him. Recover the missing parts for Edgar. She's a real beauty, ain't she? <laughs> all dressed up with nowhere to go. And she's getting restless. Hush now, baby girl. Hush now. Mm. We'll get you sorted, I promise. <laughs> I know the look of someone who got no understanding of motors. Shit. <laughs> That's all right. I ain't much good with people, but I'm a genius when it comes to automobiles. This fine lady, she's the only ticket off the island. Wait, did you think you could just walk everyone out of here? Across the bridge, through the fog, back to Sillivise Station? <laughs> you think you're some kind of hero, don't you? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's pure comedy gold. <laughs> you know more a hero than old Edgar here. You just got fancy moves and city smarts. Those smarts don't count for much under present circumstances. Uh, now, I was getting close to finishing her up, putting the last few pieces in place, when those last few pieces just up and walked out on me. <laughs> Couldn't believe my eyes. I seen some crazy things out here at night. Things with wings and tentacles and a thousand screaming mouths. But I ain't never, and I said never seen scrap metal. Just get up and stop walking. That's fucked up. You heard me, fucked up. So it seems I can't get no further with the little lady here. Not as long as that transformator keeps rebuilding itself. So I'm stuck out here till the cows come home. And you've seen those cows with the own two eyes, haven't you? I have. Those cows, they ain't never coming home. All right, so now we gotta go find some ambulatory car parts. There's certainly a lot of ambulatory parts around here already. Ah! Apparently I got some attention. Which I did not want. These aren't too bad to take on one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the issue, of course, would be 
Multiples. Ah, oh, man. Another one. around this guy but I don't think I'll be able to So what we need to do is we need to take out this guy here. And when he's down, we have to activate him to get the parts up before he uh, reassembles himself. Dodge. Activate him and get out because he calls in his buddies. These are weaker, so you you can actually take out the group of them if you want to. So it's not the end of the world if you don't actually. Uh, get the part before they aggro on you. We just lucked out there. Go away! grow back. We've got another one here to face. Same deal. DPS him down, grab the part off him, and continue on. And the three bots around him will spawn once he goes down. So we will try to get the part off before they hit us.
combat. Grab the item. You can see it's healing up. back here. Yeah, we'll take on this guy. Dodge. Quickly grab the item. Two minutes to get back to Edgar and put the parts in before they amulet it again. seconds, so we had plenty of time. Alright. Here's some need to know about golem <laughs> golemetry. It's magical puppet work. Instead of strings, the puppeteer makes use of focused thermaturgical currents to bring an inanimate being to life. Edgar doesn't strike me as a closet thermaturg, and there's no one else within a control radius. We've already seen ample evidence of reanimation, but it looks like we need to add spontaneous animation to the list of things gone wrong. If complex thermaturgical processes are happening all on their own, it means there's more shit in the winds than we initially forecast. Ciao, ciao. And we get a belt. QL3 belt. And from the stats, we want the uh, health belt. Yeah. So let's grab that. Equip it. Disassemble the old one. Pistols. These are QL3 pistols. QL3 uncommon. 128. 28. So basically the same thing. We'll just disassemble those. Disassemble the barrier. And we will now do this mission here. Take us back to Ellis Hill. It takes two to tango. Edgar has heard strange noises at night and has documented that fact in a notebook. He believes Tango, one of his dogs, could find out what's going on. It could be worth investigating. Tier 1. The crudely written notes indicate those noises are coming from the airport. Follow Tango as he tries to sniff it out. Take a look at the notebook. Time. Dark. Gunshots. Aeroport. Real dark. Clankering and such. Northwest perimeter. Fog. Helicopter. Up. Fog, growling, my stomach. Fog, gun sh grun shots. Aeroport. Dusty. Qua, 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 qua. I'm gonna kill you, poop and gulls. Dark like the devil. Smurfs or Frankies? When he's drunk. Fog, gun shots, again. Aeroport. Star. Someone's hold up for sure. Bet Tango can sniff him out. Scrapyard secure. T log. Or the shit I heard. Hello, Tango. Can we go? There's a good boy. So after this we will probably call it an episode there so that we can separate out the investigation mission. 
After which we are going to, I think, be done with this zone. Well, as soon as we progress the main quest. Um, in fact, I may... I know where that is. Oh, come on. Don't go after the... Ah. Great. Thank you. There we go. Come on, Tango. Let's go. Escort mission is always the best thing ever in games. Just because I'm afraid that I might accidentally progress the main quest while on the uh, investigation mission and don't want to, and want to make sure everybody can see that. to set up the car line. Fortunately, they're all pretty easily disposed of. Yep, and he found Bliss Hill. Who still has an investigation mission? So we'll send that in. Got the typical response. And now for the main quest. So we're going to go back here. And you know, scenic flights here, aerial views. He's probably going to go look for a scenic tour. So uh, if you had potentially noticed while well, you're running around the airport, I don't know if it showed on the screen very well. Uh, but this is the airport that has the scenic tour. So. We're going to go find the scenic tour building and see if they've left any... Ah, there's the sign. Right there. Around. One of these buildings has the... There it is. So, scenic flights. Head inside. Find what... Beaumont was looking for. It's a PC over here. Aha! Map of the Savage Coast. This is the actual next area that we'll be going to with a spot circled in red. And we have a airport flight log. Date October 5th, 9 a.m. Time of arrival, 9.45. Richard Salinas. Usual scenic route, overcast, no incidents. October 7th, 1 p.m. Time of departure, 2.45 p.m. Time of arrival. Mr. Beaumont. Unusually rude client. Had us circling the Savage Coast for ages. Back and forth like he was looking for something specific. Refused to pay extra fee. October 9th, 11 a.m. 2.45 p.m. Anya Lettenton. Lovely girl from Finland. Weather nice and clear. Small extra loop over Blue Mountain. So, yeah, we need to go to the marked house there. Beaumont, that name is triggering enough alarms to give Cassini an aneurysm. We have him pegged in Kingsmith on several occasions. First, oh, this is interesting, in the 1600s. The dawn of the Silver Age of the Illuminati, the heart of our North American debut. Color me intrigued. Our target appears to have access to some pretty potent magic, including the magical sword. Quite possibly immortal, poss probably in charge of an undead army, maybe in control of the deadly fog. 
you'll want to get more uncomfortable with your own powers before you chase this one down. Don't get me wrong, we're very interested. Keep up the good work, sport, etc. But we don't want to see you dead for reals. You're not actually immortal, just hard-headed and thick-skinned, blessed by fucking honeybees. You're not a god, not even a second-string deity, so pace yourself. You'll know when you're ready for the next step. Fuck it. I'll just tell you when you're ready for the next step, okay? Ciao, ciao. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to run back to Ellis Hill here for the investigation mission, which will be the subject of our next video. Which will, I believe, be the last video here in Kingsmith. Do, 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 just look at the map. We've got that, that, that. And stop running so I can look at the map. That. That, 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 that. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Okay, so. If you skip the next video, we will probably be heading. Uh, the video. If you skip the video for the investigation mission, we will most likely be heading to the Savage Coast to progress. Uh, otherwise, I will see you on the next video, where we will take a look at whatever Ellis Hill has for us. As usual, I will be setting the video up so that the introduction and the outro are separate, so if you wish to see those without seeing the actual solution, feel free to watch the video as well. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed.